Good evening and welcome back to Factory Town where we have lots of purple coins, which is awesome. Pause the game a moment here because there's some problems. There's some problems. Um, yes, we have lots of purple coins, which is awesome and fantastic. However, we don't have that many yellow coins and this, this confused me. I came back expecting there to be millions of yellow coins because we're selling food. Red coins and blue shouldn't change because we haven't, we're not selling any of that. Um, yeah, but there's a problem. There's a problem. There's there's two potential problems, maybe. Yeah, I think two percent. So, so. Firstly, this train is almost full of mana brick. Uh, well, it's about half full of mana brick, and we're not producing that much mana brick in one go. So, mm, there's a problem with this train here, and I've already observed what happened. I've already seen what's happened going on there. So yeah. So I have taken all the houses and put them over here. We have 60 houses here, so we can upgrade this to level 10 if we wanted to. I'm not going to, I'm going to hold off on the level 10 upgrades. We're going to go to level 9 for all the towns first. Um, and this is selling all the purple bricks, and it's fantastic and wonderful and brilliant. Um, and it should also be selling all the food here. But the food, as you see, is empty. Like, not only is it empty, there is no happiness bonus from the food at all. So it's not getting any food. And the reason it's not getting any food is because if I unpause the game... Here is a food thing. Here it is. It's got loads of food in it. Everything's fine. Look it, look it, look it, look it. It's not moving. It has no fuel. It has no fuel. This one has no fuel. Although I think this one will get fuel when it comes down here, so that's fine. But this train has no fuel. And that is because this train goes from here to here and back in. And doesn't pass any water because I removed it. I moved it to here. And um, that's a little bit of a problem because what's happening is this train is going slowly. So this train and this train, because they're all going onto the track here, are hitting the back of it. They're coming along. They're using up all their fuel as well because every time uh, trains use fuel to accelerate, they don't. They they use fuel as they're driving. Um, but they use way more fuel and water as they're accelerating. So if they're hitting a target and stopping, the target moves on slightly because it's traveling slowly. It then speeds up so sad, speeds up so sad, and it burns all the fuel out. It, it just it just burns all your fuel out completely. So that's what's happening. So this train is slowing this one down, which means the animal feeds. Well, the animal feed's still getting over. Obviously, this is still working fine. I think animal feed is uh, grain. Animal feed. animal feed's good. Is animal feed good here? No, animal feed's bad here. So this isn't. So this hasn't been working. So this train has been traveling backwards and forwards for hours with no fuel in it. Hours. I mean, I, I, after I streamed yesterday, I started factory town. I moved the houses over. I removed that. I unpaused the game. I went, yeah, everything's looking perfect and well. Put the camera back over here and went to bed. And I woke up this morning with this and be like, oh dear. But what I observed straight away um, was that this train was following this one back here. Um, and we got to... Was it here? I think it was here. It was here. And it turned down here. The mana brick train turned down here. I'm like, hang on a moment. You're not supposed to do that. You're not, you're not supposed to go down there. I mean, I know a pusher pushes if it can. Um, and if it can't, it will let stuff go by, which is what we want. We don't want a sorter. A sorter will force stuff down here. And if it's not right, it will just stop the train coming up, coming straight along. But of course, it doesn't stop the train going down this way because there's space for it. So the train's coming along. Finding its path forward is blocked because the train is traveling slowly. So it's turning down here and coming up here. And fortunately, I've built this. If I hadn't built, I mean, it, the train could have come up here and we would end up down this one. And I don't even know where the train would have gone. But this is, this is, yeah. So, so yeah. So I don't know how many times it's done that in the night. I don't know how many times it's done that. But it, it just, it's not, the train's never been trapped and it is still driving around. So, whether it's gone round in a complete circle and done something somewhere else, I don't know. But yeah, um, but yeah. So it came up here, and it came along here, and it was fine. So yeah. So um, um, and I remember doing this as well. I remember connecting this track before I went to bed. I don't know why I connected the track. 
Um, I think because well, I had this track run up here and it was just a dead end, I went, oh, I'll take that as well. Um, and it's a good job I did. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So this this is no fuel and that's messed everything up. So that's why we've got loads of purple coins and no yellow coins, <laughs> which is just daft. All our houses are up to level 10. All the houses are done up. So they've been selling loads of purple. And purple coins are not worth that much experience as well. So, um, yeah. Um, I guess there's been some food coming in because obviously this train's been going slowly. But... So we need to fix that. That's the first port of call. Um, the first on the agenda, I should say. We need to fix the delivery of goods. So these the trains here still need to get some form of fuel, which is annoying. I don't want to do the thing that I did there. It, I didn't like it. It didn't look very nice. So I don't want to do that. Um, I'd much rather have to fill up ports on the outside. But then to do that, it would mean that I'd have to move the delivery places to be somewhere else. Now they could, they'd have to sit like on the end of this. I did say about having this come around and, and feed this side. So the train goes all the way down and around and comes back in. It makes them slower because they've got longer distance to go. We could put some of them here, I suppose, but this side is for um, the filling. Basically, I need to make sure that the pickup And the delivery are not two short ones. We have to have at least one long chain on it. My brain was just going, what if I swapped it? What if I had the delivery on the long track? The pickup on the long track and the delivery on the short tracks. So the trains will park here and then when they're done, they'll go off. Um, and then when they go to pick up somewhere, they'll, they'll do stuff. So they're always picking up on a long track. That would that would work because then the two drop offs are the shorts, and the pickup is the long one. That would work. It would involve reworking the entire town um, because I'd have to flip it round, uh, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, the other option is um, to, as I said, move these to be on the end of this track or do something with them I don't I just don't know what to do with this I don't know what to do with this um yeah the delivery maybe the, all the either the either all the pickups the pickups have to be on the long line or all the deliveries have to be on the long line that, that's what we have to do right now I have a pickup and delivery on short lines and that's not working um, as I said, I don't really want to put that thing back in that I did here with all stuff because it, it it looks horrible. It looks horrible, so um, I don't like it. Um, I can't really, I can't change it now to swap things around. I couldn't, I, I could just pick the whole town up and like rotate it 180 degrees. So that wouldn't be impossible to do. And the train stations are one tile out. Then I would have to change all the signals. And that can stay there. We'd just be grabbing like this part and rotating it 180 degrees. Um, sending the trains on their way. And. Um, Let's try that. Let's try that. Right, I'm, I'm safe. <laughs> I'm going to save the game first. And we just, let's just give it a try. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't think it will let me do this. If I'm entirely honest with you. Um, don't grab the rails. Just grab that. Move. No, supporting entity. I think that's because I've got floating belts. Well, I can't, yeah, because I've got floating belts. I don't think so. Even if I grab this here, um, no, it can't do it because of the, because I have floating belts. So I can't do that. I can't easily rotate thing. I'd have to rebuild the whole town, which I do not want to do. I do not want to do. So yeah, I would have to put supports in for each and every one of these things here, which just just involves running the wooden planks down the back of them. But it. Um, and then rotating this one would actually involve grabbing the entire town and rotating it because we're using stuff in different places. 
Okay, okay, so the other option then comes of taking the food delivery or the, the um, sellable deliveries and putting them after this long track here. So maybe bring them in to this point here. So they come in here. They could even come out here. That wouldn't be so. So they come in. Do their thing. Is there enough space there for that? Copy that. So that would sit there. Yeah, there's enough space there to run a train in there. We could use the return line from that train as well because it's the same principle. Uh, the return line on that one is the same principle. And we've got the fill there, so yeah, so we could do that. We could have the input for this town come over here. Oh god, and come out here. No, no. I don't like that either. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um I really don't know what to do. I suppose the easiest one is to go back and just put this stuff back in here for um, for delivery. It's just I really hate the um, uh, the overhead. <coughs> Sorry, the overhead. Um, uh, the chutes going over the top and filling them all up. I just I just really hate that. I just don't like it at all. So um, mm -hmm. and it requires a lot as well. You you've got to have two silos. Um, on each line so you gotta do that on every line so we're gonna have two silos in each gap one of which has water one of which has fuel ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. it's not terrible looking don't get me wrong um like this but then you add the overhead thing i don't like the overhead thing so give me a moment give me a moment to come up with an idea for his Okay, okay. This is a solution I have come up with, and I found even more problems. Yay. Um, so at each corner of the track, so we've got one here and we've got one here, um, we put a, a fuel station basically at each corner of the track. Uh, we'll have one up here, but I don't have enough rails or, more importantly, enough reinforced planks or iron plates. We need to get onto that like now um however the other problem that i have is um look there's some trains up here so do you remember i said um that um like two minutes ago for you so you would remember i hope you remember uh the trains were blocking here coming down here and come here i guess it's happened to other trains they, they got blocked they came down here they came up and they've just come along here so we have to build in a fail safe for potential um everything going wrong Fortunately, I think there is an easy way to do that, and it is literally uh, copy that and paste it there and there and there and there, um, and uh, also paste it there and there, but not there. Okay. Not there. Maybe there? Yes, no, there as well. Yeah, yeah, this is four. Four, one, four. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, there was a reason. There was a reason. I didn't want to do that. Why didn't I want to do that? There is a reason for this, and I can't think of what it is. Oh, no, I know what it is. Okay, um, build a train, build a train, build a train, test, test something, steam locomotive, I can't afford it, I can't afford a steam locomotive, um, the problem that I'm foreseeing here, uh, is, um, I might remove this as well, this fuel station here, we might get rid of those, but, um, uh, although I might leave them in, it doesn't matter, but, um, a train comes up here, say the train is three, the train comes up here, no one, no two is three, Bomb hits this, comes straight over down again, and goes round and round in circles. Uh, I know we had a system here where it only would be packed goods. Do I want to do that again here? Do I need to come into these and I need to right-click all of them and uh, 
make them only allow pack goods I think I do and coal there oh there you go. boom the order of stuff doesn't matter at all so if I did that instead that fixes the scenario that a train comes up here because remember when the trains come down here to stop there they are held so when a train comes back they will be empty so that fixes the scenario of them coming up and going oh i need to go uh like for instance the coal train isn't the coal the coal is three four and three um let's set the coal train off um can i set the coal train off is there a way to do this uh no Disable. No, I think once it's arrived there, it won't stop moving again. Oh. It's going to use all of its fuel. That's interesting. Uh, oh, there we go. Turn it off. Put on. So, yeah, so this will come up here. Now, this has coal inside it. So, what should happen here is you'll come here and you'll get pushed straight back down again. Yeah, let's see. Boom, boom, yeah, awesome. And then you get stuck. Why do you get stuck? Ah, oh, because I haven't uh, actually run the uh, track all the way through. So, yeah, some of the connections were broken. That's okay. There you go. And that's fixed. Boom. Okay, right. So you do that. But if I was to disconnect your final carriage and then put you up there, so you now don't have any coal on board, you go straight through. Awesome. Okay. Boom, put the carriage back on. There you, go. You, you, you do your thing. It's fine. So that works. So that prevents that. So we just need to make sure these are all boxed goods. And this will work. And what will happen now is if we come along to here and I pick these trains up, these are all completely wrecked um, with no fuel in them. Dum, 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 dum. So they're currently on track eight. So we'll put them there. And we'll put you here. Okay, they're traveling really really slowly that's fine bum, 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 bum. i need to do the same for this so we need to potentially have all the eights coming in this way which is fine um uh so that needs to be changed to be old shift only allow packed mana brick bum, 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 bum. we're going to come along here like this oh you've run out of fuel as well why have you run out of fuel what's happened here what are you your cooked beef and fish and things and stuff yeah and then yeah, there you go. So now you will come down here. Even though you don't have well, you do have the goods inside you. Right, so you Ah, see right now, now we have another potential chicken. Oh, once again our raw chicken train is uh stuck. Is um uh there was no raw chicken for it to pick up. Yep, yeah, there was no raw chicken for it to pick up. But we didn't have any. So it's come back and it's empty, so it's come along here, and because it's empty now this no longer works so we need to have a fail safe of empty do i do i change these to hold until full which could potentially cause problems for us but i think it's the best solution um for that and we just don't do hold until full or hold until empty on the sale good stuff there's always a full train going around we have got space for like eight parking here so it's not a major problem so i think i think that's what we're gonna have to do we have to change oh, change all these to be holding to full which means a train will come along will park here and until the train itself is completely full it won't leave and then these are holding till empty okay so all these are holding till empty yep um so these all want to be holding till full No, you are. Um, yeah, so the train must fill up on goods before it can leave. This is going to be the problem one. Because um, potentially this could be... But then we could have, instead of having beef, chicken and fish here, we could have beef, chicken and fish in three individual stations. Which is what I should have probably done. And three individual trains, but then I didn't want to do that because we're selling stuff here. So... Um, and then I couldn't have hold until full because if 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 I did a train with mixed goods, hold until full won't work because it would only pick up one goods and then the other two box cars would be empty all the time. So, yep. Yeah. Um, 
Okay. So let's put you um, back on this line here. here because you want raw chicken that's fine you will not pick up any fuel because you don't pass the fuel thing uh, then you'll come back and you will pick a fuel here so you're traveling from there to there so this needs to remain the fuel for the train to do in back and forth between there and there so i need these ones here in the center for each of them blum, blum. and i need these ones here for trains going around and doing things so Okay, okay, more fowl steps. So what's this? This is supposed to be cooked beef and cooked chicken and cooked fish. And this is animal feed, animal feed, animal feed, animal feed. Um, so you're cooked, everything, that's fine. You're animal feed. The cooked one is the one that I have the problem with because we're going to have multiple trains here picking up goods. Like, we're going to have eight trains here picking up goods. Um, so... Do we have space for eight trains in here? I think we did, didn't we? We calculated this for eight trains. I'm sure I did. I'm sure I did. Um, let's let's um, give you a bit of a boost. So you can come up to... Uh, what track are you on? That was a good one. Yeah, that one. You can come up to... Uh, this one. Go. Uh, oh, uh, well, you wouldn't get any fuel anyway. There's nothing in here right now, so because I'm waiting for trees, trees to grow. So there's no fuel actually physically in here right now. I don't think there's any way I can give him a boost. You can, you can, you can make trains faster. Ready? If you click the plus button, what you go? And then it slows down again. Um, so yeah, you can speed them up ever so slightly by clicking the button. So you can get them go, 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 go. If you want to just move them along the line. Um, it's okay, I kind of want them to go a bit slowly because uh, I need to wait for the trees to grow. Uh, I could... Uh, right, what are you? You're one and you're one, aren't you? Yeah, so what we could... What I will do... What I will do... Um, is... Uh, so you're full of water, that's fine. The water's not a problem. So let's... Uh, oh, I don't know what... You'll be the inside track. Let's delete that guy. Um, and let's yoink... This guy... And then put a new one in uh, there. And we'll put you in uh, there. <laughs> so there's fuel on the outside line for these trains. So, yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> so you come down here. So let me just have a quick nose at what's going on. So you will stop there. Okay. So you take up one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 That is eight trains to there yeah so we did think this out to be eight long okay cool uh, and the drop-offs don't need to be eight long because potentially there's only ever going to be one train out of drop-off maybe two um so these don't need to be eight long these could be way shorter than this but i just kind of copied that to there um and the irony of that is that uh, this track here is dead center it's where this station is dead center of the uh, the map so this track here is dead center so yeah okay dum 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 so yeah, uh, so the only problem with this is that if one of these is lagging a little bit, so um, like for instance, say we, we used all the chicken up and there's loads of beef and loads of uh, fish but no chicken, um, the train will wait for the chicken before it moves. So every train will wait so the other ones can fill up. But then that's not a terrible thing anyway because it's, it will balance. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Plus we get faster belts later so we can fill these faster. So yeah, um, and we could always add more thing in there uh like potentially um if i remember rightly where's a house where's a house uh, happiness basic food um so the chicken is 60 and 90 seconds the 
uh, cooked beef is 60 and 90 seconds, so they're both at the same time, but the fish is shorter. So technically we should store more fish because we need to deliver more fish than that. So by storing more fish, we would actually have potentially more, uh, a better balance of things. So let's do that. Let's do another one as fish. Dump, there you go. And then you can start filling with fish, which would be fine. And then we just got one empty. So two, two, and three seems about fine. Okay, boom, there you go. Hey, you got some fuel. You're away. You got some fuel. You're away. You got no fuel. You're the raw chicken train. Uh, you will get fuel very, very shortly. You're going to get fuel right here. So he went, he went, ready? Click on the train. Train, 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 train. Go. Go, 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 go. 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 And fuel. Water. Go. Yay. Okay. Right. So I need to now do. Uh, this so let me um, copy this and do that copy that and paste it there no no it doesn't feel right that doesn't feel right I've done something wrong here hold on that one to there this one to there to there okay boop and boop and then I copy those three pieces of track because I put the edge in. We've got the little tiny inputs from that side, so that means we won't have problems with. Uh, oh, and I need to remove all of those in preparation. Copy those three, and then we just paste them there and there and there and there and there and there and there. When you copy paste with the columns tool, um, it automatically copies and pastes as if you are. Holding control, he says, and then he looks at it and goes, no, it's not. Why is it not doing that? These don't have the signal bricks of track number eight. Why do why did I not label them as eight as well? Is there a reason behind that? Did we need we did, did don't potentially need them to be labeled eight, but Yeah, we'll do that there. So we'll do that and then Yeah. So we have to do that everywhere. Okay, okay. These last few episodes have all been fixing potential problems with the track. I know we're not actually progressing and doing anything. Uh, we are now at a state where I'm screwed because I actually need um, uh, iron plates and reinforced planks. So we're going to have to go into industry. Uh, this can carry on doing its thing here. This is fine. Uh, however, we have got loads of purple coins now and we are potentially getting more purple coins. So what I can do is I don't want to actually um, upgrade this. I'm also going to... Whoa, no, wrong button. Um, uh let's um where's my town centers so all my other town centers are kind of um doing nothing right now so let's uh let's grab them all um ah hang on hang on i do want to name them that's the thing i do want to name them so i know what i'm doing so this is uh, uh name town town number I could name them what they actually are, shouldn't I? Um, but uh, makes life easier. One, uh, you are town number two. I want to name them because um, I'm going to take them all, move them, put them back in again. Three, oh, no, enter. Boom. Three, four. Uh, Five. Five. Don't push it now. Um, there is no six. There is no seven. Eight. Okay. And then grab them all. And put them over here. Because so we're going to upgrade them all to level nine. At the... Uh, at at least level nine. You're already level nine, so you don't need upgrading. There you go. Okay, um, we're gonna upgrade them all to level nine uh, because. Uh, <laughs> doop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Most these will need one upgrade. Oop. Also, I believe you can uh, press. You no, you doesn't upgrade the town center. Okay, eight, nine. 
and eight, nine. There we go. Right. Okay. So where are we? So you're number eight. So you're the magic one. So you can now actually sit in the center because you'll cover the whole area. Click on you. Change you to not mining. Magic. Okay. Uh, you are town number one. So we'll put you. Uh, no, what's this? Town number five. Uh, five. This one. I do not know what this one is. Uh, so we'll just leave it like that. That's fine. Uh, town number. That one goes back in there. Uh, and this one should have a town speciality. Why well, you not got a speciality? Hmm? Well, yeah, that's weird. Don't know why it didn't show up oh, because he's got the upgrade thing in it, probably. Um, uh, what I should do then potentially is take away a single house from this so I don't get the level 10 upgrade, um, which is fine. Um, let's, let's do that. Let's take a house away and put one house over here. Just, yeah, boom. And that should remove, no, no, I'll, I'll pause. No. I need, oh, so I need 50 houses to get to level to up. So from nine to 10, we need 50 houses. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. So, uh, yeah. So I can put 10 of these houses somewhere else. Uh, there we go. Right, whatever. Uh, one, two, three is you. Boom. You're going to be mining, but you can't do that yet because you have no mines. Uh, town two is this one. Boom. And you should specialize to forestry. I don't know why it's not showing me the. Uh, oh, hang on. Requires a forester. We have. Oh! Oh, this is something as well. Ah! Ah, you're not technically lined up, although you were lined up. Oh, because the houses, because the houses, they had we had houses here. So okay, so I'm going to steal some of these houses back now. Um, let's uh, let's steal some of these houses back. We don't need all of them here. So let's let's put in house there. There you go. Boom. You can now be forestry. Okay, and you are, whoa, 40% chance. So if I steal five houses, four and five, boom, like that, there we go. Uh, now you should be 100% chance. No, you're 80% chance. Why are you 80? Why are you 80? It's weird. Hmm. That's weird. I guess it's not five houses to get to level whatever it is, so ah, that's okay. Uh, right, and then we'll steal uh, houses over to here as well to get this going again. Hmm. Also, this place is actually selling stuff as well, so we can get some... Uh, Yellow coins on there. Of course, the yellow coins would have also stopped because um, uh, I took away. Yeah, I think that. Oh, uh, you can still upgrade. Why can you still upgrade? How many houses have you got here now? Fifty. Okay, so I want to take one more away from you. Oop. Put you there. One, two, three, four, five. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Forty-nine. Lost the house. I've lost the house. Forty-nine plus ten is fifty-nine. We have sixty houses. I have placed a house somewhere. Um. And I know not where. I know not where. Anyone see a spare house dotted around here? I put one down here, didn't I? Yes. Yes. Okay. Put on. Right. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. So you need, in order to upgrade to the next level, you need 500. So you don't actually technically need this many houses here. Um, so that's fine. So I'm going to also take some more away, actually, because um, I want to get the uh, uh, bonus percentage up to like, this place here. So by adding some houses to it, it just increases the the bonus percentage a small amount 
So let's grab uh one, two, one, two, three, four. Uh you there five for this guy. Uh and that's magic one, and now you are forty percent bonus rather than ten percent bonus, which is nice. Um I didn't look at what level actually you need to get to uh level seven. But um, it doesn't matter. We'll figure that out. Uh, not level seven, level nine. So, so level ten is fifty houses, um, which is fine. But we we will get to level ten, but then we won't go back to level ten. We'll go down to level, um, well, whatever thirty houses does is where we we'll go to. So, okay, okay. So let's leave this one here. I've no idea how long this episode is because I put a big cut in it. For me, it's been two and a half hours recording this episode. Um, I say recording. <laughs> probably an hour and a half trying to figure this train thing out here because i was building things in between here and i was not happy with how it looked it was horrible it was absolutely horrible um and then that's when i'm like just put them on the outside that'd be fine that'd be thing and that's when i discovered the trains that were up here like no but now we have fail saves for that so that's fine so i need to do the fail saves here so that's so so okay okie dokie okie dokie Build sound fail safes um, for other towns. Boom, there you go. Boom. And I will zoom the camera in and sit right here and save the game right here. Save. Um, so uh, now we know. That, that's what I'll look at. I'll be like, oh, there's a signpost. It's a sign. Give me a sign. Yay. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.